I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Part two of the video series about who has the best AA, best anti-aircraft destroyer. And we are looking at the tier 10 Holland. And let's take a look at it before we get to see value in the video. Like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support. And where you can see we're changing mod six out for the uh, anti-aircraft kind of uh, focus fire mod. And here's the basic build of the Holland. I, I elected not to actually spend money to actually change the commander build. I'm just taking a look at other commanders that I have. I don't think I can use it, but... I, I didn't want to spend money because I, the build I have right now, I think, is the best build for the Holland for focused on torpedoes, and it has Fearless Brawler that gives it an extra, uh, you can see, Flat Cloud. The rest of the other ones on the left side of the Commander build are really just focused on maybe Continuous A, which I think doesn't really help much, and maybe 50% of Flak Smoke, which is, doesn't matter because we're going to increase the amount of Flak with the Fearless Brawler and the Defensive A skill from mod six and that's the one thing i think about is interesting is it only works if you're using defensive aa uh, mod six i believe if you're using a defensive aa on your uh, one of your power-ups if you want to call it that um in in the game itself uh you can see it only works for a certain period of time and if you have them first of all because some other uh ships don't have those so holland is unique because it does have that uh, defensive aa fire that you can select as a buff or a um a special ability um, but let's take a look actually at how this actually works out and if a Holland is uh, a better suit. And I picked Holland. Smallin's the same thing, but uh, Holland, since Holland and Smallin are the same, I figure Holland, most people you can grind because most of you can't grind Smallin right now. We're going to put up on the screen uh, just a reminder of why we're doing this and what the ranking is. Holland and Smallin are right there at number three and four. Pretty much this identical. Uh, AA build, AA strength is 64, and uh, 5 plus 1 flat cloud. So let's take a look at it right here. Holland going against a Nakamov, Hakuru, and uh, one more midway. Yeah, so this is something that would be comparable in a match you would see. Maybe a tier 10, most likely a Nakamov, maybe a midway. I've seen those a lot. And we're going to hit the defensive of higher AAs, which gives us a couple more flat clouds. You can see right there, and we're just... Man, melting the crap out of 21. Look, in 30 seconds, we knocked out 21 planes. Look, uh, nosing away as always. If you see fighter planes, slim profile, nose away, run away, or or go into the actual uh, shot itself. Um, I've I've noticed that driving in towards a fighter works a little bit better because most uh, uh, CV players are kind of leading you, so that might be a better suit for you. Again, disclaimer here, guys. Before I begin uh, more talk. Uh, I am keeping my AA on. I know a lot of you guys out there have learned that, hey, you keep your AA off and wait until the plane actually overflies you and spots you. We are not doing that today. That's a disclaimer because we're going to try to get maximum shots right off the bat. Just start shooting to see kind of what kind of damage it provides. Of course, you can do it that sneaky tactic way, but most likely if you do that, the CV player will overfly, you know, fly by you, won't even spot you most likely in a game. I'm trying to get the CV player to just engage right away and trying to see what, what would happen if, hey, we started shooting these planes so it's consistent across the board. The other sneaky way, like I talked about, of just being silent the whole time is not very consistent because most likely the plane will fly by and most likely undetect you unless the the cv player overflies you to spot you the thing the range is roughly around 2.2 to 3 ish uh, depending upon how you build a destroyer i mean the, the plane that literally has to get within that range which most likely usually doesn't occur unless you're capping and the cv is really just driving right at you knows where you're at all right we're getting some nice eighty-one thousand damage on planes already in the first two minutes so look at this so the range on this is not like the Ragnar. The range on the the Holland is, and again, the, the range on the Holland is six kilometers right off the bat, right there. Inner ring is about four. So very, very effective uh, uh, long range DPS. Medium range is good DPS, but no close range, if you want to know that. So the close range is almost zero to non-existent. So you're going to have to rely on that long range shooting. So a plane over flying you is not really going to get much of the damage, but the bulk of the damage from the Holland comes from that defensive AA at long range shooting right off the bat. So you're going to see right here these planes are getting engaged right at six. We're taking about 100, yeah, like 300. Yeah, a lot, a lot of good damage right there. Something I really enjoy seeing is the, the, the flat clouds engaging really, really long range. Ooh, nice right there. We're getting a big, good shots right there. As you can see, the Holland was touted as the number one AA build very, uh, when it first came out a few years ago. Um, a lot, a lot of people picked it for the AA builds as really powerful. Nobody, and most CV players know this. They Every time they see a Holland, they do not want to engage. You see a Holland, you just turn around, run, and just not not mess with it all. Look at that, 157,000 damage right off the bat. Now, here come the four clouds. 3,000. Look at that damage right there. Oof. 
just all that chaos and it's just flying through a wall of just anti-aircraft flak triple a i mean incredible incredible damage i like the han a lot i wish most i think honestly just to be fun most destroyers should have holland aa i don't know why it, it just should just be that way so that the dd player has some kind of something to put up against a cv to just uh mitigate i mean battleships cruisers yeah i get that that usually they have it but man if a dd had this kind of a it almost seems like one dd has the amount same amount of a as a battleship it's a pretty incredible for the holland and what it can do and i really really enjoy playing the holland for this reason and the guns are great i mean it's not a for you know i wouldn't say it's the mainstay you know uh dd uh destroyer for gunboat action but it's there i mean the two guns are like the Friesland, the small one uh ragnar kind of style build where it's just a gun front gun in the back and it just has really really good reload i mean it's incredible and I, I like it for that reason and the torpedoes are amazing i mean long range 15 kilometer torpedoes going 90 knots i mean what more do you want i mean this thing is the the european line is awesome it's a all around my favorite one of the favorite lines i have the most european line dd ships because the european line is just fun to play i mean it doesn't have smoke that's the downside no smoke for any of the, the lines maybe the gdansk uh, is the gdansk the gdansk has, has smoke now but and the Gdansk, the Gdansk is actually my favorite line now, too. So it's the European-style gunplay style with smoke, radar, and, and so forth. Really, really fun. Uh, if the Gdansk did have the Holland kind of a, man, overpowered, I would say. But it's balanced that way. But the Holland, yeah, it, it's got everything. Everything you want. Heels, boot, engine boost, AA fire, torpedoes, guns, great concealment. The only lacking maybe the Holland is the uh, health pool is not as high. Now, again, I didn't build for survivability build. As you can see, it's 19,200, but the health on the Holland recuperates very, very well. It's a very small ship to hit, so you're going to mitigate a lot of damage by running away. Um, really great, really great. And you can see, man, just look at the flak that we're just putting up right there. So anybody lingering around the 5 to 6 kilometer range, is you're just asking for it right here. So the uh the nakamov right there just flying away yeah he's just hanging out here comes the uh, look the, the, i don't think the fighter planes are even going to get within range to die yeah see so just get shot down one plane or two planes by itself with a holland no way it's not no match at all you're gonna need at least like 20 to 30 planes to survive the wall of uh holland flat clouds so yeah we're just knocking planes out of the sky left and right so this is not even a fair fat uh match right here 146 planes down already in the first five to six minutes here and just look at that just all those clouds look at 27 4200 damage for their 15 planes instantly gone and just look at them just splat it's a beautiful sight i think this is almost soothing and relaxing just to see um planes just getting blown up out of the sky i might have to just make this an ambient sound of just watching planes getting shot down uh yeah, this is just soothing and relaxing to see. I don't know. I, I I'm sorry. I don't like I don't like airplanes anymore uh, in the world of warships. That's why this is soothing just to watch them blow up. Yeah, 500, 720, that wait, 2,900 damage. My gosh, look at that. Even the Nakamov is struggling. Again, disclaimer. Again, the, these planes are literally not upgraded or anything. The 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 um the C, This is bots playing, and they're not going to upgrade the ships. I think. And correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think. Uh, if you use bots in the game, they're not fully upgraded and they're just flying through flat clouds. They're not really weaving and dodging. They're just trying to see what kind of damage they can survive to go through a wall of clouds. Man, oh gosh. Yep. Yeah, they're taking it. Man, these planes. Uh, man, we might have to end this video early uh, because I don't think anybody's going to get through to the Holland. Yeah, I think the Holland in this, uh, is one of the best AA uh, uh, destroyer builds out there and i'm not even building for pure full up focused aa i i thought i would but i didn't want to spend the hp of the points for it i mean i don't think it's worth it honestly it just gives you an extra 15 percent of a number right uh so yeah i don't really need it i think it's doing just fine already alone i mean the dfaa uh you can see the defensive fire that's on cooldown right now is probably the most you need right there it, it already buffs it so much hey, i just playing around the torpedoes look at the torpedoes cool I mean, look how much damage you can do um, for a full salvo, and they're fast, they're hard to dodge. Uh, you just, you know, they just start up here, and you just see them coming at you at 90 knots. I mean, there's nothing, literally nothing uh, you can do. You have like a second or two to react. Knocking down more planes. Yeah, we're going to have to end that. So, as you can see, let's see what the uh, stats are on the Holland AA build. Let's take a look. Let's see here. How much did we do? Detailed report: three hundred and ten thousand damage. My goodness! And uh, that was rigged. We shot seventy-seven planes on each 
our uh, Nakama 77, Nahakuru 70, and the 61. So let's take a look at some actual live action gameplay. All right, let's take a look at the uh, next match here. So uh, uh, maybe a little small disclaimer this is a tier eight. So tier 10 versus tier eight, not really fair, even though AA, uh, I get it, air, tier eight airplanes are still good, but this is a, a tier 10 Holland, which is one of the best um, anti-aircraft destroyers out there. But that's the disclaimer here. We'll try against tier eight and eventually we'll find tier 10. It was difficult to find tier 10 matches, uh, the CVs. You know what's weird is like when you're trying to get a CV match, you don't get it. But when you don't, you're not wanting it with crappy DDs, for some reason matchmaking, pins you up against the worst destroyer or i'm sorry cb out there so let's take a look uh right here holland on the base mac over at alpha here let's see if we can lure a couple planes i'm purely just playing for protecting aa defense here and actually showing off some of the destroyer gunplay video because the holland actually is fairly decent uh as you can see right here it can hold its own i mean it can it can shoot its guns and melt destroyers uh, just easily so it's pretty pretty effective Pretty awesome watching that there, but we had help from a submarine. Well, another cancer of the game. Well, that's another topic for another day. All right, I think the carrier is about to approach us from the south here. He is probably looking. He knows where we're at. He's looking. I don't know if this CV player, here comes the torpedo planes. I don't know if the CV player knows the power of what a Holland can do, but let's take a look. All right, so I'm nosing in right away, slim profile, trying to see what we can do, and we're going to activate the priority sector. He's going to get within six kilometers. Here goes the AA. There we go. We are right. There's a sector. Boom, 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 boom. 8,900, 400, boom. And that this is not no DFA here. And ooh, look at that. Thousands of damage and knocked out an entire squadron from the sky right there. Oh, man. Powerful for Alpha A. Let's take another look at another round. All right, so we're avoiding submarine. We're not going to rush into our death, the submarine. And here comes the bombers. Uh, so, again, you don't want any to be a slim profile. But actually... I wonder if he chases me. So if they do chase, I want to make, make sure they stay in our flat cloud as long as possible. So is this bomber going? Yep, he's probably going for the battleship, so I'm going to go try to go to that direction. AA is on. Let's see. We're going to start shooting right six kilometer. DFA, defensive AA is on now. Let's see what kind of power. Ooh, thousands and thousands of flat clouds. Boom, boom. Will I get it before he gets there? And we save our battleship. And unfortunately, our battleship actually died. <laughs> he got shot and killed the other way. So, uh, yeah, dude, this thing melts tier 8s. I mean, I'm telling you, Holland, one of the best downright AA destroyers out there uh, for what is. And it does pretty well. And you see that blue streak there? Activates continuous AA damage increase for shooting, up, I believe, 18 or so planes. I, I, get, I think you get that uh, when that activates. But... Uh, doesn't do very well against the uh, Guten Lao bombers or thing, you know airdrop bombers. They don't do very well. Now see, look at this mod six. Uh, the armaments modification two only gives you number explosion produced by ADF plus two salvos when the defensive A fire consumable is active. So you have to have def DFAA in order for that perk to work. So I may not even run that anymore and just focus on gun builds and just have a better reload rate on the main guns. And the Fearless Brawler gives you one extra salvo. And again, those other two main battery experts just plus 15 for shell explosions and plus 10% or it's 15% for continuous AA. So yeah, I might not even run those builds anymore, more for just focused on gun builds. But let's take a look at some more videos, and uh, forgive me, it's just going to chop up to the, the main sections of using the AA and see how it actually works. So we're going up against a Tier 10 Malta now, and uh, let's see how effective it does it against this carrier. Again, it was really difficult to find uh, scenes for this. I mean, not many CV carrier players these days, which is a good thing. So here we're taking 89, 90, yeah, a little bit at the six kilometer. We want to get within that five to four kilometer range to actually start seeing more of effective uh, salvos. And I don't think, oh, we get a nice, sorry, there's a Kitakaze in that cloud. And I wanted to show this scene right here. I shot torpedoes in there and I'll see if they actually hit them. And we have a Malta coming up the rear here, so to speak. And here we go. We activate our AA. And DFA is active now. And see, we get that extra. There it is, 2,800, 200, 200. We're getting a big boost right there. We're going to double the uh, shell explosions. And unfortunately, he is running away. So not very good. Uh, not a very good uh, run right there. Obviously, they're going to start running away as soon as they see a Holland come into the picture. Oh, he's coming back for more. Here we go. There it is. There's the thousand. We want thousand and two thousand hits. Come on, right there, melting him away and 
boom he goes down this is the immunity period where he basically is invulnerable for that time of the strike and we get the rest of him on the way out look at that five kills right there uh pretty effective i think like even against the malta which is a dreaded cv player um or cv and let's see here are those there's those torpedoes i launched earlier and see if they actually reach and i just have to show this it's just don't hide and smoke guys these torpedoes are fast boom yeah they are deadly be careful Holland torpedoes very scary All right, let's take a look at another round of AA gunfire somewhere here. Let's see. Let me let me zoom to another section. And here is where we're actually showing off some of the gunpowder of the Holland. Um, the attack planes or torpedo planes are coming from the west right here. So we're, we're, we're spotted definitely, and we got air cover, so we're okay. We're not fe fearful of that. But anytime we get a shot at a DD, we're going to take it. And a submarine's right next to us, so way too many things going on right now. DD, submarine... Yeah, submarine's right there. He's not shooting us, at least. And he goes dark, and we can focus on the airplanes right now. So the airplane, they're, we're shooting. It's active. Uh, it's constantly shooting. There's one kill right there. So you can, you can see at the top right screen that the damage of the AA is going up, up, up. And to the airplanes, there. he's within the three to four kilometer range, which is perfect. So we get those nice flak bursts right there. And in vulnerable period as he drops, and he eliminated six planes down right there. So pretty darn good 30,000 damage to airplanes so far against the Malta so I would say it's pretty effective uh, for that deal now we didn't do much again the planes were avoiding us the whole match and we lost this round so we were kind of like the second to last person alive stay up alive but we're gonna take a look at some of the damage uh, that we did so you can see what time was spent in battle I'm gonna try to do that it's at the end of every clip and yeah we got 13 uh, airplanes destroyed let's see second in the team because we cut a lot of planes uh, let's see here 30,000 damage to, a, uh, to uh, any aircraft defense to damage to aircraft so fairly decent it's almost like blowing up a destroyer uh, and just an AA alone so let's take a look at another video in this one let me take a look what kind of aircraft carrier they have here I think I do record showing it yeah it's a midway I think yeah so the midway we're not really afraid of I think we eat midway planes alive for uh, launch easily okay here go oh no never mind it's not a midway this is a Nakamov my bad Nakamov, here we go. Nakamov, uh, what are these things? Drop bombers? Oh, I hate those things. They just skip along the water, but we eliminated like three airplanes, so not bad. 16,000 damaged aircraft right there. Skip bombers, that's what they're called. Skip bombers are deadly because, I mean, they, they can drop their payload far out and you don't really get them to drive into your flak range. So that is the biggest problem. That's why I have the Aegons on so quickly and just I just want to blow up as many as I can. Again, disclaimer again, normally the tactic is to leave your AA off, but we're doing the video to test the AA. So look at that. We're running away. We want a slim profile again against the, uh, the, the uh, fighter planes or... See, yep, complete WAP. See how this dispersion against the water it shows it's a horizontal, so therefore you want to be a uh, slim profile to the airplane, so you minimize that cross section. We get two planes right there, not the greatest, but it's, it's decent, it's enough. Another good technique and tip uh, someone's mentioned is you turn on and off your AA, you reset your DFA recycle period, so it's on cooldown faster and reloads better. Yeah, we're getting some nice good shots right there, a couple thousand right there. Unfortunately, it still doesn't uh, blow up as many planes as you would think. I think on the way up, do we get some more as he climbs out? No, he's out of our range. All right, he's back for more with torpedo planes. Let's see if we can get him now. He's in within the flak bird. He's in within six right here. See, the, the, the continuous damage guns are going off. Now the flak birds are all pummeling right now. There's a thousand hits right there. Yeah, a thousand. We need more thousands. Nice. Boom, 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 boom thousand right there nice and we eliminate everybody retreat we do not want any aircraft retreating to the carrier to reload rearm we do not want that all right let's take a look at another run where is he at okay so fighter planes coming in from the south all right we're starting our a guns up is he coming towards nope he is on the edge but we're going to see if we can get as much chip damage as we can get it and ooh, there's a nice thousand right there come on can we get him yes we got another one continuous a damage increase that means as soon as we hit 18 uh, aircraft damage, I believe. It's either 18 or 20, I can't remember, but I think it's 18 where, boom, it activates at that number and you increase your AA damage and torpedo reload. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to get torpedo um, hits in order to get that torpedo re reload to activate. So we just got the AA uh, active for that many kills. So we got 24 aircraft damage, 43,000 in 11 minutes. So not bad. That's about... Two, and a destroyer and a half to killed right there of an airplanes. 
So interesting, a lost money there. You see, even though uh, did did a lot of stuff, still lost money. I don't know why. This weird credit system. All right, let's see here. Uh, we are now attacking a midway. Finally, a midway. A little bit easier, I believe, than an Akamov and a Malta. Let's see, he gets within six kilometers. AA is active. It's starting to shoot. Blowing up. There it is. Blowing up. Taking some nice flak bursts right there. Come on, baby. Right, DFA is active now. Let's see the difference here. Do we blow up the entire squadron? No. We got four kills. Not bad. 7,000 damage. Eight, 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 almost 8,000 damage. Engine boost deactivated. Let's see if we get another shot here. Okay, now Midway's coming back with torpedo bombers. All right, within our range right here, six active right there, thousand. There it is, a thousand damage. Yeah, I like those thousand hits right there. Another thousand hits. Oh, big juicy hits right there. Yeah, we are melting his planes right there. He's like, what is going on? Running away. I love the fact that when I see guys running, oh, we took a major hit right there. That was a blind fire shot. See, once now here's that, that's the downside. Once you go AA active, you are now lit up on the radar and mini map, and uh, they can see you and just start shooting you right away. So that is the downside of having your AA active all the time. So keep that in mind. We are pretty much going to lose this battle, but I just want to see how many more planes we can shoot down and kill. I'm going to actually driving towards my battleship and trying to support and keep them alive. So we're going to go AA active right now, see if we can prevent the planes from hitting them. But probably, fortunately, the midway is probably going to get... Ooh, we took out a major clunk right there. Do we get more? Come on, do we kill more planes? We got nine planes so far, 26,000 damage. Uh, unfortunately not. And our guy, go, our Soyuz goes down. Ooh, torpedoes are coming back for more. I like it. Our DFA is still active. Yep, let's see if we can blast him. He is, like, regretting his decision. And do we get him? Boom, 3,000 at the very end there. Five kills uh, right there on the A. So, man, a Holland is a beast when it comes to that six-kilometer range. Uh, it really does just uh, melt planes. Coming back with the Midway. Midway just attacks our Kabarovs, and he's coming back, and he doesn't realize we're here. And active AA going on. Gun crews are firing, blasting through as he travels through our AA rings, and I don't think he makes it through this thing. Oh, he does. He actually gets one off. Can we kill two planes? And in vulnerable period, missed. Big woof right there. And we kill some planes on the way out. Unfortunately, do not fly right above a Holland while he's uh, full active because we will melt all the planes as they uh, egress. All right, let's take a look at the damage we did. 17 planes, not bad. 17 planes, what kind of damage did we do? Uh, 43,000 again. So roughly in the 13 minutes, uh, about the 13 to 11 minute range, we're getting about 43, 44,000 damage consistently, depending upon how the CV carrier strikes. Uh, new game right here. Let's take a look. Um, here we're playing against a midway. Yeah, let's see if the midway, again, I love midways. Man, for those things melt. Ooh, this is a good one right here. Bombers are coming in. Midway Bombers, not sure if these are full build or not, but let's see if they can survive the onslaught of the Mighty Holland here. AA is active within the 6km ring, blasting right there. DFA is on, look, we're getting 1,000 juicy hits, and boom, 18 planes going down. And those are some of those are the, his uh, spotter planes or fighter planes, and the Bombers go down and just get melted. Unfortunately, we get torped as well, so I'm not going to show that, that. That was a short match. Again, another battle with the Midway right here, and let's see what kind of damage we do in this one. AA is active right now. Fighters are coming in with the spotter planes. And let's see. Yep, Melton. There it is. He's now taking daring chance. Flying right through his... Ooh, a couple thousand hits right there. Five kills. And he's going for our buddy. And misses us completely as well. And he loses all his planes right there. Love it. Love it when you get to melt as many planes as we can. 11,500 damage on that first run right there. And uh, that's, uh, I think, about it right there for the... So, Bottom line, um, the Holland. Uh, what do I think about it? Um, I'm a, I'll have to say I, I really do enjoy it. I, I like the Holland. It is a good torpedo boat, gunboat, so it's got the well-rounded of everything. So would I recommend the AA build, and does it match up with what the, um, the stats filter says? Yeah, absolutely. I believe the Holland is one of the still one of the top, most top-ranking uh, AA builds out there that can really hold its own. Against you saw Nakamas, Maltas, Midways, uh, again the, the AA test, Hakurus. I mean, it really can hold its own, and it's it's got enough defense to survive against either other DDs. Now, it may not survive some of the heavier DDs nowadays that are coming out being power crap, but it's still a viable, good weapon system, especially for either clan battles with the heals, uh, randoms for the AA, and the you know the you now the bad side is the submarine. ASW Warfare is terrible. Uh, I mean, the, the depth charges fire in front of the destroyer, so kind of wonky. 
He's hard to aim and trying to figure out. The speed is not there. It's still okay, but he has an engine boost, so he can get up to that 39 knot range or speed. Yeah, and um, I mean, it, it does well. So would I recommend this? Absolutely. I think it's a very powerful AA build. I think it actually, I think they take it for granted. I think it should rank a little higher um, than the Ragnar, I think, but um, we'll see. Um, the next video I'll do is the, the Dalarna, which is the Super Holland and Super Smallin, and we'll see if that actually holds up as being number two in, in the top league. So uh, I'll leave you guys with the end of this video to show you some of the gunplay footage of the Holland. No AA in this. It's just strictly just for you to enjoy. But if you'd like to skip at the very end of the video to see the builds again, it's at the end of this uh, section right here. But it, as always, Part 3 is coming soon. Hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe, and uh, always leave a like and a comment if you see value in the channel and appreciate all the support. The kind words you guys have said to me uh, have been great, and I love building the community and fostering that that wholesomeness that we uh, have in this world of warships uh, community that we played so hope you guys are doing well as always look forward to seeing you out there and salute and see hi and the clan battles and as always stay safe cheers all stations reporting the position of a strategic target our victory is in sight enemy battleship sunk Engine boost activated. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Damn it!